All right, welcome back. I have another one here. Man deals with wife for fighting his younger sister. Sends her packing. Shares why he did so. Speaking of controlling manipulative behavior and things like that, right? Let's talk about this one. A man. Let's see. We're gonna. See, you see a lot of these situations out there. They're very common. I like to talk about this kind of common stories. I want us to be talking about this scenario-based scenario based conversations that's where i think we're going to be learning the most okay that's what i think we're going to be learning the most because a lot of people when you listen i want you to start listening if you're a prestige family listen out to a lot of the rhetorics the different youtube platforms out there and start doing measurement of when they actually bring a scenario to the table start doing just start measuring it right uh, and just do like a scale 90 10 18 20 scenario based generalized we all generalize we all have theories around our heads okay which is fine but they are produced from our own experiences right so oftentimes they might not be necessarily applicable to other people oftentimes we're not really learning anything we're just repeating talking points back to ourselves because why because human beings evolve so if you pay attention to the scenarios maybe you start picking up where people actually you know you start picking up where people actually uh, are evolving as opposed to getting stuck with the 1960 ideology that probably doesn't work today anymore i'm looking at this report on legit.ng shout out to legit ng ng all right so it says a man has appealed for advice he's asking for advice appealed for advice as he reviewed he sent his wife out of the house over a fight with his younger sibling. So think about this. So I have a younger sister. My wife fights my younger sister. They had some kind of quarrel, disagreement, conflict. And the solution I came up with is get out of my house. Get out of my house. Now, in my head, I've been watching this kind of story, so I know they exist. But on a normal day, as per normal, in my head, <laughs> right? That was 1989. That happened to anybody ever. Because honestly, I don't have people around me that would do that. Okay? But I've seen enough of these stories that I know they're still happening. Okay? And sometimes it doesn't just happen straightforward like I sent my wife out over a fight with my younger sibling. It doesn't just happen like that. There's usually more to the story, right? There's usually more to the story. But let me keep reading. In an anonymous message seen on Facebook, the man said his wife's action was disrespectful to him. Okay. And according to him, his sister is his family and his wife is a stranger. <laughs> The man's message reposted on Facebook by some Ekutosi. Uh, let's see here. Let me see if I can find it. Honorable Steph, my wife just fought with my younger sister. And I have told her she's moving out. Get out. If she respect me, she wouldn't have touched my sweet sister. My sister is my family. And she is a stranger. Let's come to the chats. The doors are open for you guys. That's it. I want to hear what you guys have to say about this. I'm curious now. Curious. I'm very, very curious now. Let's hold on one second. Let me see. I'm coming to the chat. I'm coming to the chat. Omar, these are some of the issues out here. Okay, so these are some of the mindsets you have to deal with. So, a lot of time, remember the story we just covered, right? A lot of times... You won't find out that your future husband thinks this way until it actually happens. A lot of times you won't find out. Or sometimes it's also a product of the experience that you guys have had inside of the marriage that start to make them think that way. I am willing to bet my monthly livelihood on it that Paul Okoye of P-Square think exactly this way. He will kick his wife out for his brother Jude. We'll talk about that tomorrow. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. It gets real. It gets real. This conversations get real. Sometimes when it gets real, I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> it gets real. <laughs> right? <clears throat> Let's see here. Okay. Uh, okay, so I'm trying to clear up my browser. There's so many things open, so I'm trying to clean it up real quick. Okay, let me close this. All right, good. All right, so let me come to the chat. Everybody, I hope everybody is checking out Beyond Braids. Please, somebody, let me find it. Let's uh, let's support Beyond Braids. Uh, let me find uh, where is that thing go? Ah, I have to look for it now. Beyond Braids. Let's support Beyond Braid. She's a fantastic content creator. So I can't wait to see that video you released on the... I haven't seen it yet. Where is it? I don't have it. Uh, uh, any of the mods can help me find it. And Okay, so I don't have it yet. Let me find her and post her. So everybody, please make sure you're supporting any content creators that are... I come here from time to time. Thank you. Help me support them. Beyond braids. So there's actually okay. It should be in my watch later. Actually, let's see. Uh, do I have it in my watch later? Okay, I don't have it yet. Let's see. All right. So I'm coming to the chat. I'm gonna read. Uh, I wanna see. Uh, let's see. Okay, so somebody else has that name. So now it's kind of hard to find. Okay, I found her. There you go. Let's see. I will forget. That's why I'm doing it right now. So pardon me, pardon me. Okay, there you go. I know somebody probably did it before me already, right? No, not yet. They're looking for it. All right, there you go. So please, everybody, it's open in another place. So just support Beyond Braids. All right. So again, man deals with wife for fighting his younger sister sends her packing. So let me come to typical of my husband. Our own is with his elder sister. He can marry his sister now <laughs> that I've left. Now, I wouldn't have promoted your channel in this moment if I knew that's what you said. That's not nice. Beyond braids. He can go and marry his sister. Ha! Ah! Can we can we rob minds oh, together? Can we rob minds together? Can we just all just get along? Why does he have to marry his sister? Jesus, Shidima. Okay now nah, he will marry his sister Abby. No, that's not what we're talking about. Let's have this conversation. No, 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 no. Wait. If Child that loves the other room. Chineke, Chineke Shide that loves the other room. Okay, you guys talking about something else. Let's see. Uh, if care is not taken, the younger sister won't allow a wife to last in her brother's marriage. That's fact. And that's fact across the board. Not just your own family in-law. Again, it's one of those things that is how you manage it. It's one of those things that is how you manage it. If you think there's a family somewhere that exists, that's perfect. Even Yusef. <sighs> you go collect. There's no perfect family anywhere. Every family has dysfunction. It's just they tend to come from a blind spot. So this one family that you left, they come in the form of sister-in-laws. The next one, they will come from another angle. Their own dysfunction will come from another angle. So it's really how you respond. It's how you respond. Now, how you respond is not... A lot of people assume that I'm saying you should always take the higher road. That's a terrible assumption. Okay? No. It's not always about your idea. Because your idea of taking the higher road can actually hurt you. Guilt is just as dangerous as much as hurting yourself. Lack of self-confidence, lack of self-help, lack of self-care will hurt you right so that's not always what i am saying it's case by case it depends ultimately whatever i'm telling you to do must also lead with self self-preservation particularly emotionally okay but oftentimes when you're engaged in this conversation you're engaged in a way that you actually might be hurting yourself emotionally yes it's a lashback 
is an overreaction. An overreaction, you can hurt yourself with overreaction. So I'm not always asking you to take whatever you think is the higher road is. It's not always that case. Okay. It's not always that case. Did you, you guys hear that bell? That's how I time myself so we don't over, overdo. Right. But let me come to the chat. Hmm. Anyway. Stop exposing me. A typical of my us. Okay, we already covered that. Uh, but it's okay for your beta sister to insult and attack her Abby. Yeah, it's not okay. It's not okay. But this is a sign of uh, weakness in masculine energy. In that, I'm trying to be nice. And I want to make sure I say it right. Because I want the brothers to receive this properly. This is a sign of weakness of masculine energy in that equation. Your sister, your own mother, will actually attempt to help you when they sense that you're not a masculine man. Okay. Now, of course, it shows up as they're defending you. They're your blood. They're your family. But by you yourself, you go resent that later. You don't like... There's no way in the long run you're going to like the idea of your sister and your mother always stepping in to help you. Now, the easy angle for you to go is to blame your, your wife for not being receptive. That's, the, that's easy, right? Because after all, but this is your wife. This person, if she give you kwekus tonight, you go take them. Okay, so that equation is not going to add up all the way. Because you go take that kwekus tonight. Right. No, 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 I don't care about the kwekus. Then let's, let's end it. Right? It's, uh, there's, nothing, there's no conversation. Problem solved here. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Still. Just, just make sure that you mean that, because oftentimes that's disconnected from your face. Yay! Do you mean that, or you're just upset? If you're upset, I understand. Okay, but the point I'm making here is that if you don't know what you're doing, yes, your sister, your mother, they're also women. They will come there and attempt to help you. Okay, and when they help you, they mean they really wanted to help you. But it's going to backfire too. <laughs> it's only going to get worse. No, no. You know that you've experienced this before. And it only got worse. It only got worse. This issue, right, is a matter of... Oh, beauty! This weakness in the masculine energy people don't feel safe you don't feel safe they don't feel safe there's no structure there's no order there's no systems in place right what you're doing is you're caught up in your own emotions you're saying that's my mother how dare you talk to my mother like that right that's how you're engaging it <laughs> that's like you like uh dr apoki 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 right like he said, you're introducing yourself as the man of the house. You're not sure of yourself. Please, 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 please. You're explaining at this point in time, right? You don't know how to put your foot on the ground. You don't think it's necessary to put your foot on the ground with your mother and your sister sometimes. So there's only one thing, one body left. You kick them out of the house. You kick them out of the house. In the short term, in that moment, you're going to feel macho. I give you two hours, two hours tops. You're going to feel like a failure. You know why? Because you're actually a failure. And it's okay. It's okay that you don't know what you're doing, but it's time to seek wise counsel. Your family is the person you're having sex with every night. Okay. Everything else, they're still family, but they're extended family. It's, when you involve your emotion, I understand that you're not confused, discombobulated. I get that. That's your emotions, right? But when you start to recognize that you are the general in that equation, you are the general in, in the war front, right? And sometimes you have to make very tough decisions. When you recognize that you, you will be presented with... Tough decisions are tough for a reason. They're not easy. That means sometimes you find yourself like, my mother, my sister, my wife. I understand. I get it. 
But welcome to the real world. Now you are becoming a man. You have to make tough decisions sometimes. And it's not that you're making decisions in favor of your wife. No, that's not what this is about. See, you, you just went that other route. You're the victim suddenly. No, it's not that. It's about when you pick your wife in this context, right? It has a downstream effect. You are effectively picking your children and the extended family, right? Your mother will suddenly... Even if she doesn't really like your wife like that, like that, she will yield. She will yield. She will respect the fact that you are a full-blown grown man that she raised. More so than you pandering to her feelings and kicking your wife out. She will respect that. It might take her a second, but it's fine. Because you're not going to have sex with her tonight. God forbid bad thing, right? She will respect that you are able to make tough decisions. I give you tops. If you follow this line three to four to five years from now, at most, if you're consistent, of course, your mother will fall in love with your wife. Not just that. Wait, wait. Your wife will fall in love with your mother. Right? Eventually, you start becoming jealous of your wife. How come she's get to talk to your mother more than you get to talk to your mother? How come your mother is checking in through your wife and she no even check on you? How dare she? But I know that's what you like. You want them to be on the same page. You've always dreamt about your mother, your wife, right? But now your solution is to pick your mother over your wife. See, on paper, as I always say, it sounds like it makes sense, right? Because after all, that's blood. Blood is thicker than water. You know, if all it took, that, blood, that his blood is thicker than water, if that's all it took, countries will not be getting invaded. Brothers will not be fighting each other. Twin brother, for that matter. If that's all it took, they won't be doing that, right? If all it took is blood is thicker than water, there will not be any dysfunction in any family. So, think about this deeper. Think about it deep. Think about it deep. Take your time to think about it. The point here is that, the, what is the picture that you're looking for? I don't know what that looks like, but tell me. I'm assuming that you want your mother and your wife to be on the same page and they love each other and they, they, they're, they're seen eye to eye and you now have to kind of switch in between like, hello, you're together because of me, hello. That's something I have to do now, by the way. Hello, you guys know each other because of me. Like, I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> right? That's the picture you like, right? Okay. So, Baba, you have to have some social and emotional intelligence behind your intentions. If you don't have that, <laughs> I know you have good intentions. I know. But it's going to essentially end up in a potato. Yeah. It's not going to work. Because, again, you have nations. You have nations, brothers, sisters fighting against each other, they divide down. They become tribe to tribe, tribe. Among the same tribe, they become use my state. It's not my state. They call, among the same town, they become like, that street over there, they have Lapa Lapa, don't go there. Like, human being and divisions, they're like five and six. So you're not going to run out of divisions. What's gonna make you a leader is learning how to bring people together. Sometimes it's not something, not sometimes, most of the time it's not something you can snap your finger and make happen. Oftentimes it takes foresight. Up, oftentimes it takes servant leadership. Oftentimes you have to go through the mud a little bit. It's going to be rough a little bit before it gets better. So all of this is a process. Let me come to the chat. Let me come to the chat. Uh, why do people call their spouses strangers? Wahala! blood is thicker than water you know that's what they say right that is that that phrase is more of an hyperbole than a real thing because obviously nobody's comparing real blood with water so it just means when you see somebody as family you see them as family they're family but oftentimes you have to cook what family is oftentimes you're going to find out in real life that the closest family to you are people that are not necessarily blood okay should you still value blood yes but context context matters 
Uh, some experience I had all these female family members that will not allow their sons and mother brothers to uh, ace women behind all of this now. You know, oh, uh, beauty. <laughs> okay, I don't like saying that. I don't like saying that personally because it takes two to tango ultimately, right? Again, women in women will do the right thing if the men know what they're doing, okay. And even if women do the wrong thing, they will cross correct when the men are able to react properly. But if men overreact, women go multiply and it get worse. It gets more chaotic. Uh, especially when emotions, when we're talking about emotional relationships, emotional based personal relationships. Yes, I will a million times never believe he would think like this. No, you wouldn't see it coming. It's all in how you react to this kind of stuff. You know, and that doesn't mean you take the higher road. There are actual, I wish I can get into it right now, but there are actual skill sets behind this. If you don't get what you want out of it, you will also resent eventually. So I'm never asking you to talk in what you want. I will never ask you to do that, either man or woman. Okay. Temporary situations, it might feel that way sometimes. Because like anything that's worthwhile in life, it takes work. That's what work feels like. It feels like you're giving up more than you're receiving. So it's a process. That's why I tell people, don't wait for your partner before you say you want to work on yourself and your relationships. It's a terrible idea. And 99.99% of people out there are literally directly or indirectly saying, well, how can you work on it if the other person doesn't work on it? I'm like, I, Lord, help me. Please stop saying that. Please stop. Okay. Yes, eventually you need the other person to show up. But sometimes you should just take charge. How's that? Right? Maybe an okay idea that you can test out before you shut it down. Right? Just take charge. The direction of your own life i know it's everybody else's fault but just the direction of your own life maybe <laughs> don't worry you guys are getting used to my shade so much more now good deal all right yeah you know <laughs> uh, because they are conditioned that way it's it's fruit of toxic patriarchy maybe maybe let's see um uh, meanwhile, they have their own marriages to deal with. I wonder if they are treated the same in their brother's house. Every one of them don't collect. Even it actually it's worse when they don't collect. So you're not going to receive. You know, hurt people, hurt people, right? Yeah, yeah. Hurt people, hurt people. Mm -hmm. All right, good. Thank you for subscribing to Beyond Braves. Since like last week or so, great, 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 awesome. I have a toxic sister-in-law like that. I just blocked her on every block. If they're not in your space, that's okay. Okay. If they have to kind of be in your space, it's going to take a little bit more than just blocking them. All right. Because that's a relationship you're going to have to learn how to manage over time. If they're going to have to be in your space. All are some things that kind of comment is necessary. What is the comment that I missed? I'm always behind. So sorry, uh, Chinye. Women don't vex. That's the fact. MOP is my experience now since their sister is always sweet. Hmm. Hmm. I feel you. I feel you. I feel you. I feel you. Uh, women are freaking tired of it. Well, you can get tired because you're going to have to maintain some level of relationships. You know, the f if you manage, you pull through. Ten years from now, you're going to look back. You're going to, I did well, but it was worth it. That's what I'm talking about, okay? My husband said his younger sister had fought every girlfriend he has had. I just blo wala, wala, blocked. <laughs> if they're not in your space, that's okay, okay, for your mental health. A man that cannot set boundaries is not ready for marriage. In short, that goes for women too. Man especially, okay? Man, when we're talking about marriage, man especially. In this social construct, it is required that a man knows what he's doing yes you might be lucky enough to have your wife do the work and get you to the drawing table but at some point it's not sustainable that a woman is leading a typical marriage relationship uh in terms of making it emotionally safe for everyone it's not sustainable it will backfire eventually there's going to be a man that can replace you and it should be and rightfully so okay um 
a man that can okay uh let's see she must really love her brother now what uh, maybe she had a friend for him no i think all of it stems down to uh lack of skills they are just people who who honestly feel like they are protecting their own blood is thicker than water they will defend him even if that means shooting the wife in the stomach with a punch below the belt if that's what it means but you know what they're doing they're effectively hurting their own person it's like oh my my, my sister came to me crying that her husband is it is mean to her and then you run to the house and then you start cursing him out and you won't let him rest guess what you're hurting your sister because she doesn't she does she's not she's suddenly not proud of her choices right she's feeling guilty guilt guilt is destructive she's feeling like oh i should have vetted more people that feel like i should have vetted more they tend to create more toxic environment for the marriage because that's a lot of energy away from actually working on the marriage. It's the thing, getting consumed by, I should have vetted more, I should have known better, it consumes energy. And that's a lot of energy away from actually working on the marriage. Yeah, I know. Mm -mm. Yeah, you didn't see that. No. You To you, yeah, they just are. They're just wishing they did better. Everybody after all asked them the question, how did you get past? How did you get into this relationship without seeing this coming? I never expected it. No one expects it. You can't see it. You were in love. You were infatuated. You painted a picture of yourself happily ever after. No, no, no. You're not special. Most people do that, including men. It's not your fault. Okay, maybe it's your fault, but it doesn't matter. What are you going to do with where we are right now? It's more important. You have a brand new opportunity to create a new foundation. You have a brand new opportunity to make a better decision about the direction. Your next best foot forward. No, no, but what do you mean? I'm already married. Yes, you, yes, you're still making a decision. Yes, about how you're going to move forward. <laughs> yes, like, hello. Yes, you can thank me later. Yes, you can. Yes, you can change it all around right now. Everybody else tells you like, uh, uh, you don't enter one chance. See what? One chance. What were you looking at? So you feel an extra sting of guilt, and it just gets worse and worse and worse and worse. I'm not saying that you should just pat yourself on the back for everything you do wrong. I said, call it wrong. Move forward. As fast as humanly possible forgive yourself you're not special for doing something wrong we all have done something wrong all of us you like how I do that you're not special for being right <laughs> you're not if you think you're right okay <laughs> right Rakadidi, you're right okay but no it doesn't matter it's about are you paying attention to the present are you present with the opportunities that the, 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 you're dealt right now in this moment in time. Excuses. All your excuses. All you have to do is flip them. They're opportunities. Right? All the wrong things. Everything that's wrong. They're opportunities. But can you see that far? I bet you just get caught up in your feelings like majority of us. You can change that. You can just, you can just like, mm. yeah. You can just decision right it's gonna be a process to create the result so next week you'll be like oh but it's not working no 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 you have to be consistent for a while then you start changing the course of your life yeah it's the, even if it's divorce it's a decision <laughs> it's a decision sometimes it's the best decision but in real life it's a lot of micro decisions before you get to divorce. Nobody runs to divorce the first day they argue. It doesn't exist. No, never mind what the manosphere is saying. It really doesn't exist. Okay? Most people, it's a process. Even if one person is in the darkness, the other person has been nursing the idea. They've been feeling some type of way for a while before they get into that conclusion. I'm saying a lot. I hope you're picking them up. Is she married or single? I wonder if she's jealous of her brother. No, like I was saying, a lot of people, this is, um, this is, it's a matter of skills. They, they get caught up in their own emotions. 
They want to protect their own. And then they see an opportunity to just be nasty. They might be pigs on their own. Maybe that's just how they deal with life, period. They get pig, they get very nasty, and then they swim in the rough, and, and now you, you overreact. I suppose like, hmm, this one I worry. Let me, let me make sure I know what I'm doing first. But guess what you do? You take an offense. You engage it with them, right? That's what you do for the most part. But you can just, if you see something that triggers you wrongly, a small crisis, back off. Back off the situation. Don't be so quick to engage it. And you know, I will never accept anything. You're already accepting this. You want to swim in the rough with them. Okay. I wonder if she's jealous of her brother and don't want his happiness and feel like you're talking. That's what we would like to think. That's what we would like to tell ourselves. That just another Nollywood movie, somebody's just been evil. Unfortunately, majority of the cases is not like that. If it was, it would be a war zone here. Majority of the cases are purely emotional. People that don't know what they're doing. People that just got caught up in their feelings, they can't put their fingers on exactly why you offended them, but they feel like you offended them. I know. <laughs> ah. Stop it, Juju, be that. It's witchcraft, okay? It's witchcraft, but this is how it plays out. That's what I'm trying to tell you. I'm just running through your comments then. They, they, don't worry, the main story today is not long, okay? I just wanted to point out something real cool. I have two handsome boys and a beautiful daughter. It's my responsibility to ensure none of, my, of the siblings will cause problems in each other's marriage. Lot of wisdom will be required in that. Lot more wisdom than just don't ever go to the house of your sister to go and cause problem. In in his head, he's not thinking he's causing problem. He's thinking he's protecting his own. And you can't tell them to not protect their own. Beyond Breeze, I know you know that. It's going to require a lot more wisdom than just do not do just do the right thing. It's going to take a lot more wisdom. Of course, the shoes are the right thing, right? She's married though, with two kids, but one is dead. Yes, I heard the bell before and I thought that it was your phone. No, it's uh, it's my time at which I've, I've broken the rule right now. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, She needs to focus her energy in her marriage and leave her beloved Natu for us. Sorry for her loss. Mm. Well, like, uh, it's a toxic culture in Africa and it's not okay. It's everywhere. Ah, listen, I'm not going to say too much, but I actually have a sister who was trying to marry a white boy in this North America. <laughs> Guess what happened? Not be juju be that. <laughs> you never see racism before? Of course it didn't happen. You know, unfortunately, he didn't because she really liked him. She really liked him. Mm. Yeah. Let's keep going. It's not just Africa. It's anywhere where in-laws care about their blood and not water. My sister will start fighting anybody she hears will give financial assistance. She wants to be the only person receiving wahala. She has all this time and energy for her brother's relationship. Yeah. But keep in mind, these are feelings for you. You're also exaggerating feelings like we all do. Okay? That one out of three months where they come and they cause wahala to you in your head. You're a normal person. It's like they come every day. Three months is too much. I know. It's no wonder why you feel like it's every day, of course. It's a boundary issue, absolutely. We could call it boundaries. We could call it boundaries. But you don't want to call it boundaries to the person you're setting boundaries for. It's a boundary for you, right? You as a man. What are we talking about here? You as a man. When a person disrespects your wife, they disrespect you. They disrespect you. I say a person, yes, including your mother, okay? And people can disrespect you and their intentions is to protect you. Oh, you didn't know. Yes. Their intentions is to protect you. They feel like this person is just riding you. This person, he, this person is riding you and they're deciding your life and they're controlling your life. Right? But, but, but they don't have respect for you. That's the bottom line. That's why they feel they need to come and help you. Now, you can wait until later before you find out or you can listen to me and ask me more questions. Okay? But you can wait until everything is lined up for you because sometimes, especially men, if we don't hit rock bottom, we know they pay attention. Okay? But it's... 
it's, it's not an intentional disrespect, but they don't have respect for you. People, if your mother have respect for you, they won't come, they won't know. They will just say, Hola, you got it. They just know that they know that they know. Right? But something has happened. It's not their fault. It's not your fault necessarily to you. You're just learning this for the first time. Is it your wife's fault? Just listen to what you just said. It's your wife. You want her to respect you, but you want me to make it her fault. Okay, let's say it's her fault. What are you going to do about it? As the man, you're going to kick her out so you can show her pepe, shiggy. If that works, I'm all for it. Okay? But if you notice that you feel kind of weird a few hours after you've done it, if you're coming on the internet to ask us what our opinion is, maybe, maybe there's something else that you should learn. For money, we know be our own. On a day short arm, ration. The stupid sister will be over there gloating. She said, no, they call their nuclear family a stranger. Very backwards, confused element. This is, I've seen enough of this. It's pretty typical at this point. So we need to apply empathy in addressing this. Why is it that they feel that way? That's a conversation that we might have much longer someday. Why is it that a lot of men are feeling that way or they yield back to this? In fact, some of them have borrowed my rhetoric in terms of no immediate family is there, right? But somehow they've had certain experiences and they're yielding back in that direction. Uh, that's still not the solution, but they're doing it for a reason, right? Some, not all of them. Some of them are just mad 19, 20, 21 year old people on the internet running their mouth. Don't know what the hell they're talking about. Some of them, they don't collect Shege, like Paul Okoye, and it's just what it is, okay? <laughs> After all, he found a new 21-year-old before the war to marry him. So he thinks his guys just figured out. Him too, he go collect. He go realize that women are the same across the board. Family that will love and support you, but they are also ready to meddle and dictate how people should behave. You, you, you have to stand from, you have to be a man. You have to be a man. If you have to say it, you're not being a man. If you have to say it, you're not being a man. If you have to introduce yourself as a man, I'm the man of the house. You're not being a man. Sorry, oh. How? How do I know? Because you have to introduce yourself. It's not me. I didn't call you. You're not a man. It's you. You feel the need to introduce yourself. What did I say? That sounds like you, Ola. What did I say? I have, I have a lot of stuff. I've always wondered how come Bible say men should leave family and cleave to their wives. But in African Christianity, it is upside down. After every, Everything in African Christianity is upside down. But that's a conversation for another day. Okay? That's a conversation for another day. I'm actually running away from that conversation because I think it, it, it has its own spirit. Speaking of spirit, spirituality, it takes over and it completely discombobulates what we're trying to talk about. Let's stay away from that, okay? Um, that is my brother, his wife. He can't stand all of us and that woman. He told my mom he feels he is adopted. Uh, I once saw a quote. Don't let the family you came from destroy the family that is coming from you. That's good. That's a good one. That's, that, that's a good summary of everything I'm talking about. See, even you, you're your own worst enemy. No, not your wife. Not your wife. No. You as an individual, man or woman, you are your own worst enemy. That's why we talk about renewing of the mind. Do you guys want me to start quoting scriptures? I only do it behind the scenes with my clients. But I don't want to water down what we're doing. Not to say that the scriptures water down anything. But I want us to stay present and get empowered about the power that you have today right now in this moment because once i start to bring in the spirituality thing somehow it works the opposite direction you start to feel like you're not, you don't have power because there are a lot of people more than enough people using that it's like my like ring worm yes <laughs> i've told the story here before i used to wonder too but now i get it they have the most trouble making breaking away yes Men, if if you show men shaggy, uh, a, a very delicate need of a man is family. So once it looks like he, his family is not his family anymore, especially the way you treat him, 
he's need, he still need to yield to some form of family right and if he goes tell a ver- his own version of what's happening in your family to his family after he has forgiven you they don't forgive it's a it's a vir- it's a virus okay that it's going to take everything to kill it it's going to take a lot of humility it's going to take some time some process right it's going to take a lot of uh yeah it's a very difficult process but it's doable we have people doing it right they just have to engage they have to engage on a consistent basis when i say engage engage the program in a consistent basis and they have to be diligent to the work and their and and their their, their what do you call it their their sense of identity is going to get triggered a lot because it's like why do i have to check this part of me just to satisfy you I, i'm telling them no it's actually to take care of yourself and your family and for the long run it's going to be beneficial for everybody including the sister and the in-laws it's going to be beneficial for everybody but oftentimes i have to get them back to like okay because their, their mind will play tricks on them because that's what they've always known family and in their mind family is not supposed to kick against family and when they collect shaggy like that especially if he's under 10 years right they, they they're like they're like i feel like i married a stranger right it's a feeling it's emotions so if that goes long enough and they don't get to talk to people like us they're going to conclude that that's a stranger. I need to get back to my family. I know she has kids for me. I'll take care of my kids. It's sad, but it's a coping thing, right? It's a means to some kind of end. Unfortunately, that means it's not going to lead them to the end they're looking for. That family is going to be divided. The mother, the sister is going to continue to be disrespectful to his very manhood because that's the way he moves. So it's, it's difficult, but it's doable. Uh, let's see here. I just want to make sure I cover all your, let me see how far we are. Are we that far? Okay. I'm going to run. I'm going to do a a fire round and then we'll complete this segment. Yes, it's women, but men also have to take responsibilities for where they don't display their headship in the family. Men have to do that. Absolutely on point beyond brave. And that's why I keep saying that. And I'm not going to stop saying that men, leadership, men, leadership. That's the only thing that's sustainable. It doesn't mean that women don't lead in certain uh, in certain respect in the family, of course. But when I when you have to hold yourself accountable, what happened to this family? The man has to take himself. Uh, he has to hold himself accountable and responsible for that family. That's his power, and he can't afford to lose it. It's not the same thing that is his fault. Um. How are you able to swim between here and WhatsApp? Are you a ghost? It's, a, it's just a browser. <laughs> All right, beyond breeds. No, no, let everyone no, let everyone protect themselves. Their brother is not a child and should be left alone. Yeah, I wish it was that easy. It's feelings, it's emotions. You know, the only person that can fix this is their brother. Oh, let me say this before I forget. The only person that can fix this is their brother. Because why? Because that's his household. He's the one responsible for it. Okay? All right. Now, it's easier for him to fix it if he gets help, support, whatever that means. No, I didn't say it's therapy. I'm saying mediation. Okay, it's not mediation. It's just support. Whatever you want to call it, brotherhood, is. You're just a human being. You too deserve soft life. It's okay to seek help when you need it. It's not about right or wrong. Sometimes you just rub minds with another person and they're able to help you see Clara. Eh? Eh. Ah, we could take it. Of course, brotherhood can take it. Let's call it what it is. Coaching and counseling. Yes. It's necessary. You need it. Okay? It's helpful. Uh, this is me, oh, I must express myself before I sit down, I beg. I can't explode to appear mature. Um, I don't know what you mean by that. You have to spell that out, right? That right there can be a very positive thing. Because if you're not speaking your mind, right? Like you're asking people to read your mind, right? 
Now, let me give you the real deal. It's a double-edged sword. It can cut both ways. <laughs> it can cut both ways. Do you know how to use this idea on the screen? If you know how to use the idea on the screen, perfect. Love matters. Uncle Beno said we need deliverance in Africa. Wahala, wahala. Yes, we do. From the whitey. Thank you. A disrespect to your wife is a disrespect to you. Mine will even say they didn't disrespect me enough. Yes. So your husband, the typical husband will take sides, will seemingly take sides with the other person. And you, you're like, why are you taking sides? Why are you taking sides with the other side? It's like, I'm not taking sides. I'm just calling it out for what it is. You're wrong. The other person is not wrong. Sometimes they actually want to soothe your feelings and not offend you. They say, actually, I just had the situation yesterday. One of my clients said, he just said, uh, but the other person is not wrong. He said, but when you say the other person is not wrong, gentlemen, listen to this. When you say the other person is not wrong, yes, you did say she's wrong too. But the way her brain calculates that is that, oh, so I'm wrong, Abby. Now, she won't say it out in words. It's all the water, water you go collect after that that will tell you. If you're paying attention, you know. That you've seen this before so what should i say when the other person is not wrong how about it's not really about right and wrong people just get caught up in their feelings sometimes and you could say hey i understand i feel, yeah, I feel you or you could listen a little bit longer until you understand where they're coming from because their words is not going to tell you how they feel but if you listen long enough you will grab it and you're like oh okay all right well i didn't mean to make you feel that way See, it's not about right and wrong. It's just feelings. Well, feelings is not just. It's literally what drives our world. Right? Which is why a lot of these talking points are all double-edged sword. It just depends on how it's being received. If it's a relationship you care about, then it's not your problem. If it's a relationship you don't care about, all you have to do is block them. Blockity. Blockity, block, 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 block. Right? If it's a relationship you care about and they are not blockable, then that's your problem now and when you fix it it's a good thing it's an opportunity now you know how to fix it it's not taking the higher road it's taking care of yourself taking care of yourself shout out to beyond brace because they believe they all went through a lot together and no one can come in between voila Ola, please quote scripture where it is applicable you don't have to cite references just state the principle a lot of biblical principles are universally applicable absolutely i'm with you a hundred percent and i do it i drop them every now and then here you know but i'll see if i can make that do but people my clients know i use that all the time i use scriptures all the time uh particularly for those that are christians of course the uh the way i quote scripture on my page eh because that's my source mm -hmm, mm -hmm. For a second, I thought Allah was going to say the only person that can fix it is the woman being maltreated by the in-laws. No, when it comes to... <laughs> now that you've triggered me, shout out to you, Chidima. If you come to me and you're the woman complaining, you go start the journey. Uh -huh. So, I don't know if it sounds like you are fixing it. If you want to stay in that situation and you are complaining to me, we go start the journey together. But I guarantee you... This is about you. It's not higher road. It's about you. Okay. We need to make sure we know what's going on first. Before we go, they scold people that are not complaining. Yeah? All right. But no, I'm, I was talking in general. When you have a situation that sister-in-law and mother-in-law are coming into the family. Yes. Yes. Is the man's responsibility okay that's his responsibility okay he's lost self-respect in many in many respects not just with his wife but also with the sister and the mother and potentially more people because they're looking like what's going on in that household hmm. did you know that they fight yesterday oh huh? did they fix their issues after all Ah, because there was so much issues. They keep going back and forth. Just a like, tire. My tire is tired. You know? But then my brother, I will protect my brother. I don't care what they, that woman. My, her mouth is nasty. Her mouth is nasty. I'll protect my brother. So, I don't know what that looks like. But it's sometimes it's very subtle. Right? 
they just know that I will look at if anything happens to my brother, I know go forgive you. Sometimes that's what it looks like. It's very subtle. Sometimes it's loud, right? Sometimes like what did Mario say earlier? Where's Mario's point? I can't find it anymore. It's too back. Oh, this is me. Sometimes this is a sister-in-law. Me as a sister, I must express myself or be up for I sit down and beg. I can't explode to appear like a mature sister. Sometimes that's what it looks like. That's why I say it's a double-edged sword. In reality, what does it look like? What does that look like in reality? No, forget what it looks like. What results is it creating in real life? That's the reaction I was looking for. I have triggered a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Let's get into We're going to finish off today uh, and summary with the final story of the day. Do me a favor, Sha. Hit the like button, share, subscribe, turn up your notifications so you're notified when we go live. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. If you've experienced this, you're watching replay, your replay gang, let me know what are your thoughts around this sister-in-law, mother-in-law type of stuff, right? Actually, let me see here. Somebody said uh okay this guy said i just hope i made the right decision uh and someone said and you expect a stranger to respect you and your useless sister <laughs> he said well he said well uh now so one time they tell me say i'll be stranger somebody said this life self so i said she did not even injure herself oh god you're a clown <laughs> anyway your wife is part of your family as far as you guys are married same as your mom all right so again remember mom versus wife now you have to make a tough decision if you have to make that decision it's wife when it's emotional okay all of it most of this conversation is emotional nonsense when it's emotionally based you don't have to tell somebody they are wrong or they are right sometimes you just freaking listen you don't have to have an opinion you don't have to have all the answers gentlemen it's okay but actually in reality you don't have all the answers nobody does okay i hope the day your father will say your mom is not part of your family you will not cry oh. women open your eyes before you marry see that's how they get them to cancel when this earlier open your eyes before you marry these problems are everywhere learn how to manage yours that's why she can't respect her respect you you are a stranger to her so is your sister she has every right to fight her. Another person says, Some men don't even know what marriage is before going into it. They go into it with the mentality of the 18th century while they use the latest technology in their homes. Twa. Some of Una shame. They shame. He. Shame. Shame language. All right. So I will correct that. All men going into marriage don't know what marriage is. Manage your expectations. All right. I'll be right back. Hey Prestige fam, show some love to the video. Hit like, subscribe, and share. Are you in Europe, America, and struggling your relationship? From argument to abuse and trust issues, we are here to help. Lola and I founded uh, Prestige Marriage Academy to transform your story. With 20 years of friendship, 17 years of marriage, experience with navigating the ups and downs of marriage, and personalized coaching, our 12-month program, regularly priced at $9,875, includes 24-7 support, Ignorance is expensive. WhatsApp us at plus one seven three two three zero five eight five seven seven to book a free discovery session today and qualify for over eight thousand dollars in scholarships. Take charge now. Don't wing it. Join us in creating the love life you, you deserve. deserve.